Well, I think overall economic um, climate will have an impact on any industry. And obviously, it has a has an impact on production, which will in turn have impact on, on, on global um, trade, um, which might affect air cargo to a degree. But what air cargo is all about, it's about speed and reliability. And if you look at what air cargo actually transports, a lot of the time, it's vaccines, it's medicine, it's um, pharmaceuticals. It's also in part... Um, e-commerce, and we've seen e-commerce uh, be on the rise, not just over the past couple of years, but now being accelerated by, by COVID-19 and, and the inability in a lot of regions of the world to actually go shopping in actual uh, stores. So um, while we might see a decline, a temporary decline um, in, in air cargo demand, we forecast that um, this demand will, will kind of get, up, get back up um, over time. Again, my issue with e-commerce is the fact that many of the people doing e-commerce, um, for instance, on the grocery side of things, and you know, don't make money out of it. I mean, I look at the profitability of e-commerce and the expense of that last mile trade especially, and I can't see how the profitability is going to improve dramatically uh, because, of course, your economies of scale aren't necessarily what you want them to be because you still need more drivers, you still need more vehicles as well. So I, I don't know how e-commerce becomes that more, much more profitable with the customers giving you a slice of the pie? Yeah, I think we'll have to see how that turns out in, in the future. And, and certainly economies of scale will play a big effect in that. We obviously see that um, being able to distribute more efficiently on last mile will also have an effect. But I think on, on the air cargo side of things, uh, which is not the last mile, but which is kind of bringing, bringing goods from one country to the other, in many cases, out of Asia into the US and into Europe, um, that that will that will to our to our understanding will, will remain the same. Uh, Moritz, great to have a technology company in Germany. Um, obviously, you're raising money through um, uh, index ventures at this point. How far away are you from um, maybe coming to market an IPO? And is that something that you and the team are looking at doing soon? Yeah, so we've just raised 80 million um, from Index Ventures. We announced that yesterday, and then that is kind of in response to the growing demand for our product. Um, we've seen demand um, quadruple. We've seen searches on the platform actually quadruple in the past six months um, alone, and, and we see that airlines are investing into digital to actually become more efficient and to be able to respond to these situations um, more quickly. Um, we're very happy about that process, and I think uh, next step for us is to take the product out of Europe and take it into the U.S. on one hand, but also into East Asia on the other hand, to be able to serve our airline clients on a more global scale. And what will come next, we'll see, I think, um, going down, down that road.